Hi everybody, it's Miss Rachel, and today I'm going to show you how to make this game board. Now this game board is designed to help you kind of get out of a rut if you don't know what to draw. So I'll show you how to make it and then how to use it. So my um, game pieces are based on the Spanish painter Juan Miro, who is known for his abstract painting. So all of the designs that I have are, they're kind of abstract, kind of real, but um, it's just really fun things that you can do to kind of break up, you know, being in your rut. So let's get started. You're going to need some paper. I have more than one sheet here because I'm going to use one sheet to create my game board and then the other sheets to draw on once I'm actually using the game board. And then the other materials are really simple. I just have a pencil, sharpener, eraser, and a die. And then I also have something to draw with. So if you have markers, you can use markers. You can also use crayons, colored pencils, anything you have on hand. So the first thing we're going to do is create our grid. And the easiest way for me to do that without a whole lot of measuring is just to fold my paper. So you'll see like this paper has some creases in here. So I'll show you how to fold your paper to get that um, chart. So we're going to start by folding it in half, hamburger style. So, And it doesn't need to be perfect, so just fold it in half. And then we're going to fold it in half again. And then fold it in half one more time. And just crease that down with your fingers. And then open it all up again so that it's a big sheet of paper. So now you should have eight columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to do the same thing the horizontal way. So I'm going to fold this in half the horizontal way. Like that. Then fold it in half again. And one more time. So now I will have eight columns and eight rows. So as you're doing this, you will be able to see your lines a lot better than you can see mine here. But they are there. And they're going to help me make my game board. Okay, so I'm just going back and kind of creasing these again. This is completely optional and up to you if you want to do this. But it helps you be able to see your lines really, really clearly. Okay. So, for the first thing I'm going to do is create my um, numbers over here. And on my example, I drew dots to indicate the number. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. But you can actually write the numbers if you want to. You don't have to do dots. But um, it the easiest way to do it probably will be to start from the bottom at six and then go up until you get to one. So I'm going to write numbers since I did dots the first time. So we're going to go six, five. Four, three, two, one. And once I show you how to play this game board, you'll understand why we have the numbers. And then the next thing we're going to do is make our categories up here. Oops, and I drew on my paper. Oh, well. So this one has seven different categories, and they include body shape, head shape, eyes, nose, shapes to add, 
lines to add and color scheme. So you can kind of decide on your own categories if you want to, but these go with the Juan Moreau theme that I'm going with. So he usually creates really abstract and funky characters, which is why we have the body shape, head shape, eyes, and nose. And then in the background, there will be some other abstract kind of shapes. And so that we don't really have to think about what we want those shapes to be, we're just going to kind of tell ourselves by giving ourselves some options and just kind of working mindlessly and really freeing ourselves up and then we're also going to add random lines and we created a bunch of different random lines we can use and then to help us even further we'll choose four different colors for each number so we'll choose um, four different colors for each number and then once we actually use the game board you'll already know what colors you're using what lines you're putting in there what shapes what nose, what eye, head, and body. So this is, like I said, it's designed to make things really easy. So we're going to write our categories out. Body shape. And if you are using a, if you have a pencil, it might be better to use a pencil because my letters are kind of getting big to fit in there. But I know it's easier for you to see the marker, so I will continue using marker, but you don't have to. You can use your pencil. Eyes. Nose. Shapes. Oopsie. Gonna turn the sound off. Here we go. And I'm just gonna write the number two and a plus sign to represent add. And then lines to add and color scheme. Okay, so now we have the basics of what our board needs to include. And this is the fun part where you can create your own shapes. So under body shapes, you can draw whatever abstract shapes you want. They don't need to be exactly like mine. So I'll come up with six new ones. Let's see. Um... And I'm going to use my marker, but using a pencil will probably allow or will definitely allow you to create shapes and then change them if you don't really like what you've come up with. But I'm just going to make some geometric shapes that are kind of nonsensical. I'm going to do a simpler one like a diamond. Um, let's see, what else? Maybe... Parallelogram, another one, and steps, kind of, and one last one, maybe a more curvy one. Just some weird shapes. And you can do the same thing for head shapes. I'm going to draw some different shapes here. These are the ones I started out with. Here. Um, and I like to think of this in a really abstract way. So you don't have to draw circles for heads because this is your drawing. You can do whatever you want. Hmm. I'm going to draw an R. And then add some flourishes mm. and maybe I'll draw a D and add some spikes mm. what other letters can I draw how about an H with some D's on the side and I'll do it So 
So again, I'm just making these up as I go. And I guess I will give myself a circle head with a little curly cue. So the next column I'm filling it in is eyes and you can draw whatever kind you want. So I'm going to add some circle or square eyes. The triangle pupil. Triangle eyes. The square pupil. Maybe some with the eyebrow. Maybe my eyebrows at the bottom. I'm really being weird now. I guess it is. Okay, so now I have my eyes onto the noses. And all of your shapes don't need to be super different from one another. They can be kind of similar. And now for some random shapes. So on my first example, I have a moon, rectangle, star, asterisk, an eight or some double zeros, and then this weird little shape at the bottom. So let's see if we can come up with something different than those. Let's do heart, an oval, maybe three rings that overlap. What about checkerboard kind of pattern? And weird shape there. And now we're under lines, so I'm going to keep it simple. One can be a straight line, one can be a squiggly line, maybe a spiral, uh, lines with some shapes attached to them. We'll do another line with shapes attached. And a square spiral. And now you can choose your color schemes. So you'll want to grab whatever you have to color with. So I have these markers. And I'm going to pull out some colors that are different. One another. Get some more markers. Hmm. Maybe a different blue. So in the original, I stuck with a very simple four color screens, um, four colors for each number. And that kind of goes with my Moreau theme because his paintings use very bold colors and there's not a lot of them
So I would suggest sticking with four or five colors just to keep this simple. And also, in each one, there's black. So if you use black in each one because you know you want to create dark outlines, then you've done part of the work already. So I just drew a square of color in each one. I would suggest having black in each one that way, you know, oh, I can always use this black and create some really bold lines. Or maybe you decide not to use black in each one and you use um, a different color that's consistent all the way through. So now just going to add red and that is a dried out red. Put that red in the trash and I'm going to add red here. So I have three color schemes that include red. So I'm going to set this marker off to the other side so I don't use it again. Now I'm going to add orange in the places that I don't have red and in this one too. So I'm almost done with my color scheme here and I see that I have the red and the orange which give me a really warm um, color scheme so I'm going to go ahead and add yellow to complete my warm colors and then I'm going to add some yellow to this one and yellow at the bottom but it is completely up to you what colors go where now this one will be primary colors red blue and yellow plus black. I'll bring a blue back up here. Now I will add green to this one. Some green here. And I'll add my lighter blue. And one more down here. So now you have finished your game board. If you want, you can put a title across the top. I will do that. I'm calling mine the Roll a Miro game and the way that you play the game is really simple you will get out another sheet of paper a blank sheet of paper like I have here and then you will use your board and your die to choose what you're going to draw so, if I decide I want to draw a body shape first and I roll my die, I'm going to get a piece of paper. Put this down so you can see what I roll. And so we can see what shape we're going to do. So I roll it and I got a three. So I'm going to draw this shape as my body shape. Slide that out of the way. And you can draw it anywhere on your paper. But this takes some of the guesswork out of drawing. Sometimes we get so focused on doing things perfectly that we just don't do anything because we are, you know, just kind of scared, I guess. But we don't have to be. So now I'm going to do a head shape. So I'll just roll my die. And I got a four. So I'm going to have a triangle head. And you can draw that wherever. Your head doesn't even have to be on the top of the body. So I'm going to draw it here. But maybe when this is all said and done, my paper will be this way and the head will be on the bottom. So let's do that now. All right. Then next, we're going to draw some eyes. And for the eye category, I like to roll two times. So I'm going to roll once to see what kind of eyes I'm going to draw. So they're going to be my upside down eyes. And then I'll roll again to see how many eyes I actually draw. 
three eyes. So you can kind of make the rules fit however you feel because this is just a break our drawing rut. So if you've been saying, oh, I'm going to draw, but I just don't know what to draw. This could be a way to help you break out of that drawing block. Now I'm going to draw another eye like that. And maybe I'll put the lashes that way and really switch it up. Now I have another eye and this one's going to have lashes on both sides. So sometimes just getting started can really help. Getting started can get you started. So now we're going to do a nose. Another four. So just that nose. And I'm going to draw my nose in the middle of my body here. Just because I can. Because I don't have to stick with any real rules. And now I can add shapes in the background or I can choose a color scheme. So I think I'm going to choose my color scheme and then I'm going to kind of build my world around that based on the color scheme. So here's my color scheme. The two blues and a red. Slide that out of the way so I have my markers here. And now I can just kind of freely create. I can continue to use my board if I want to to help me decide on shapes to draw if I really get stuck but I I've gotten a start here and so now I'm kind of pumped and motivated to keep going so hopefully this can help you if you might be in a drawing rut or if you just kind of want to do something that's a little fun and a little mindless and get off the computer because I know we're on the computer all the time now so if you have any questions or comments make sure you leave them in the comment area and we will also love to see what you can up with so you can leave a picture in the comments as well and hopefully you are following us on Facebook Instagram and YouTube to get updates about what we're doing when we're doing it and to see all of our new videos when they come out so thank you so much for joining me I'm Miss Rachel and today we rolled a morale bye <laughs>